Welcome back. I'm Sarah Bernard and we're here with Sandra Moore of Urban Strategies. We've been talking about one specific part of the, the services that you provide, helping people, um, families deal with um, their budgets for their food needs for their family throughout the month and how that's going to need a little bit of extra attention with all the federal changes taking place coming up in November. But let's talk about Urban Strategies. You all are right here in St. Louis, headquartered. Yes. Have been around since 1978. That's right. A long time, and you've been associated with the organization for quite a while, too. Thirteen years. I've been president of 13 years. I'm the second president of Urban. Urban was chartered in 1978, and Richard Barron, the St. Louis community knows him as Richard Barron, the housing developer, mm -hmm. was the first president. Urban was started by Richard and Terry McCormack, uh, the father of the McCormack, whose name's on the door now. Um, as part of their vision that if you could rebuild all the housing that you want, um, but if you only build housing and you don't have a pathway of change for people, it's not going to mm. work. So Urban Strategies is a comprehensive uh, not-for-profit community development company that focuses on human capital development. And has the mission stayed pretty much the same as what Baron and McCormick had in mind back in the 70s? It has. It has in that and that's a very important question, Sarah, because this is the thing about urban. We only work with housing developers. We never do our work alone in a neighborhood or a community. There are plenty of wonderful, wonderful not-for-profits at work in every community we go into. We go into a community with a housing developer so that we can work with that developer to shift mm. a set of circumstances for the people who will be moving into that housing as part of the transformation of a big community. So we go in with developers who are building 400 and 500 units of housing. Now the mm. goal is that we do a good job for those families and we help those other not-for-profits to really strengthen their ability to hold on and continue going right. once that development So built. you really are the platform for a lot of change that takes yes. place in a neighborhood. So yes. a, a development goes up with 400 homes or apartments yes. or whatever yes. and, and the developer teams up with Urban Strategies, is yes. that how it works? And yes. what kinds of services then do you provide to the residents? So, so the first thing we provide is to that community. We provide a plan. Mm -hmm. What is it that this community needs in terms of people, services, supports, and amenities in order for this housing to pop off? So before and everything. there's even exactly. people, you're working on exactly. the community plan, the neighborhood right. plan. Then people are at the center of that mm -hmm. plan, and the next thing we do is, okay, now given the people who are here, we assess. Mm -hmm. We either assess them ourselves with a staff team, or we use partners to assess where do they stand on education? Where do they stand on jobs? And once we've got all that under control, we understand what the assets are, we understand what the challenges are, then we go out and we do service connection. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for the best early childhood education provider and the best early childhood education platform if we've got a lot of young moms and we've got a lot of babies coming and we've got a community that's growing that way. And you bring them and to we, the And we bring community. them to the party and we join with the developer as we're doing here in St. Louis mm -hmm. around the Flan Center and we say, okay, this is a revitalizing community. There are lots of young families. Babies are being born. They mm -hmm. need to be, to get ahead of the game. They need equality early childhood education developer, let's figure out how to build a first-rate early childhood education facility. Community, let's figure out how to use it. Let's go find the best provider. Is that the University City Child Care model? Let's bring it in. We plan, we do early implementation, and we do coordination of those things that people have to be engaged in right. or brought into. And what's really amazing is it started here in St. Louis, yes. but you all are now in seven other cities, is that right, across the U.S.? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're pretty much all over. Uh, we have uh, active developments now in Miami, uh, New Orleans. I just come up the, the Mississippi. Miami, New Orleans, uh, Memphis, St. Louis, uh, Minneapolis, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Wow, just straight across the country. Yes. So there's information on the screen about how you can contact Urban Strategies to learn more about their services, get involved in the things that they're doing, all these great things. Sandy, it's uh, truly a pleasure. Unfortunately, we have to take a break. 
you'll have to come back and tell us much more about all the, the different services that you provide our community. It's a wonderful thing. Wonderful. Would love to. We'd would love, love to have to. you. If you or someone you know could be assisted by Urban Strategies or you'd like more information, contact them at 314-421-4200 or visit urbanstrategiesinc.org. Stay tuned. Katie Haney will be with us here on the set to share her gift ideas for businesses. We'll be right back.